testing, making sure my mic is correct and ready to go here. Um, Alright, we're good to go. Um, welcome to stream 2 of Neverwinter Tutorial. And this stream will be focusing on Stronghold stuff. Some real great uh, group stuff that you can do with your guild. Um, highly suggest getting in a guild if you haven't yet already. Um, thank you guys for uh, watching my previous stream. Uh, glad for all the feedback. Really appreciate it. Um, come to my attention, there was a little bit of a sound problem. I've turned it down in my game, my in-game sound, so hopefully that won't bother me again. If it does, feel free to just um, put it in the chat box down at the bottom, and I will make sure to fix it. But uh, hopefully I got that done and got a few other wonderful pointers for some other people. So I will put those into the next upcoming streams and make sure that to give you guys the best experience that is possible. Um, but I just want to say again, I appreciate everybody who came to watch, everybody who um, enjoyed it. And I'm glad that you did. Uh, feel free. This, these streams are interactive. I uh, had a guildmate come by yesterday, talk a little bit in the chat. Um, I, I am totally for that. Um, I, I want everybody to be here and interact with me. Um, right now I'm in my guild stronghold and I see a few of my guild members running around. Uh, so they might tag along as well um, with what I'm doing in the stronghold. But, uh, but yeah, so I went over uh, Sharandara the last time and that was a campaign. Uh, saw a few people in it today, uh, hoping they're enjoying that campaign. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to... Okay. Uh, and it was this one right here. Uh, there was some great, uh, great content we went through. One of the easiest campaigns. I will be going through some other campaigns later on in, in other streams. So uh, if you have any questions again about that, feel, uh, let me know and we can, we can talk about it. But, uh, but so, uh, oh, there's my guild. Guild Master, he just popped right into the guild stronghold. So the great thing about Neverwinter is that it is all about group. Um, group enjoyment, a group play. Um, you can solo quite a bit of the things, especially if you're a high DPS person, but um, it's still, when you start getting into the higher level stuff, it starts getting to the point where you, you want to group up with people. I highly encourage you to get involved with a group of people, a group of great friends who stream with you or who, who play with you and just have fun. Um, it, it is a wonderful a, a wonderful game in that in that way, and it's actually very easy to group up in this game. Um, there are many people out there who are more than willing to group up with you, group up with you in any way. Um, so, this is one of the big ways that Neverwinter did it as well. Is they did this um, strongholds is what they call it. So my first uh, piece of information to you is that you um, will probably not see this strongholds on the map unless you're part of a guild. Um, so, make sure that you find that first. Uh, if you go to Protector's Enclave and you say, Hey, I'm new, I'm looking for a guild, there'll be plenty of people probably that are willing to have you join them. We are willing to as well. Um, so, definitely make sure to send me a private message <coughs> if you're interested. We'd love to have new players. So, um, uh, uh, we're close-knit family. And we'd love to have you. Um, so, that's the first step. <laughs> Get into a guild. Um, once you do that, you will see over here in social my guild and it'll pop right up and it gives you all sorts of information. It gives you the stronghold news, stronghold coffer, guild activity, and vault records. And if you hit over RB, you can get the roster of your guild. Um, gives sort of guild ranks, the gamer tags, names, where they're located, what kind of class they are, what level. And here's your stronghold. It's going to show you some more information that I'll get into in a second. And uh, this is some information about my guild particularly. Shout out to the Forgotten of Farron. Uh, they are an awesome guild. They encouraged me to start these tutorials. It's really to help a lot of our new members. Uh, we, we're getting in new members all the time. We're a very active guild. As you can see, our roster right here, I'll boast about it. We have quite a few people on tonight. So uh, that's awesome. And looks like... Many of them are in the stronghold with me. Um, and then uh, here's some settings which give you information about your guild. A lot of this is just kind of uh, things that you can understand as you get into the guild and watch it. Um, it's kind of kind of boring to go through. 
uh, each guild has their different ranking systems so you'll see our ranking systems might be a little different than the guild you are and finally the alliances um, this is also huge this was just um, introduced a couple mods ago but the alliances are actually a group of guilds put together that actually have their own chat and we're able to go and jump into each other's strongholds which is really cool so not only can I then be in my stronghold but I'm allowed to go into Legion's stronghold Candy's stronghold which is really awesome um, w that'll, I'm going to do that later on in the stream because we're going to go over and try to do some T3s and some Dragonflight run which which will be exciting and I'll get to show you how those work um, so that's pretty much the information of the guild I'm going to show you into it if you come here you're going to pop right in at this place it's in the overworld map it's right here strongholds it'll show up as soon as you enter the guild you might need to go through a couple introductory quests to get in here but just go through those pretty normal they'll show you all around this guild this is my guild stronghold it's going to be different than yours if you're not part of my guild so I'm gonna show you a few things around here and they might change or, or be different but that's alright um, pretty much the layout is just the same so over here we have a master of a coin which will give you certain oh, quests hello, in your stronghold um, I have already accepted most of these quests. This one is really important. When we do our T3s or heroics here, you're going to always hey want to accept Ventura? this quest the right Stuart. here, defending the stronghold. The this the is, tells you to complete three heroic encounters within the stronghold, within the and um, you kind of want to do that end, every day. And it gives you these shards of power, which I'll show you are really helpful for your guild. I'm going to accept Hi, that, um, and then this is always fun to accept because you end up just killing things in the stronghold anyway. And then over here, this is um, the builder. This is, he gives you actual Good quests day, that you have to do in the stronghold. Uh, you have to defeat certain named monsters, like this one, or you have to uh, do a challenge like this, uh, which is defeat as many en enemies as you can in the stronghold. Um, I will do that here soon. Another uh, clarification here, the Master of a Coin will give you quests to go do other items and quests in other campaigns. And in doing so, you actually get uh, items and stuff to use in your stronghold as well. So it's pretty nice. You get to collect these at the beginning of the day. Make sure you always come here and collect this first because as you're running through your campaigns, um, as you can see, the one I have up right now is the Sharandara support. So if I was to complete three quests in Sharandara, I would get stuff for that, as well as Stronghold material. Um, this guy right here in the beginning, who's probably going to give you most of your introductory quests to the Stronghold, Adventure. if you take a look at him, you can see the Stronghold overview, and it will give you the target of what your Guildmaster would like you to focus on. Each uh, building in the Stronghold has a certain requirement of things that you need to collect and I'll show you those things over at the guild mimic um, in a bit but if, for right now we are doing the marketplace level 6 and as you can see it needs all these things we have everything but frozen treasures but thankfully I have a few so I'll also show you how to deposit these things into the uh, guild bank and hopefully we can get that up there alright and this is just construction it's this is more for your guild masters and officers to use, um, but you can also take a look at what type of things are required for each level of the buildings. So make sure you can pop in there and take a look at it if you're interested at what we can build in the guild. And feel free to give your suggestions to us. Uh, we really like suggestions if you want something specifically. Big thing, it's really important to sh uh, show you is the boons. So if you go over to your character and go to boons, as soon as you enter a guild, more than likely it'll be an, a, a nice guild that has quite a bit of uh, experience already. The guilds level up based off of how uh, much how you build your stronghold. So you can build your stronghold level one, stronghold uh, guild hall. They're called guild halls. Sorry, guild levels are called guild halls. Level one guild hall, level two, and continue. But if you're part of a guild, you want to immediately go to here and see how you say guild stronghold. Select this and activate the guild boons. This is the biggest bonus you can get from being part of a guild, so I highly suggest you get involved in one, because each guild has its own boon. So for this one, we have power boon here. So my power is increased from 1,000 to 8,000. Um, 
And then defense boons are right here as well. There I get some defense out of this. That's pretty sweet. Uh, utility boon. This is awesome for new players. We do this specifically for any new guild members. So if you're interested, please send me, send me a message. But uh, it gives you bonus XP. Uh, so make sure you collect that. And we're actually in the middle of building one of our PvP buildings to give us a PvP boon. So those you can accept right away as soon as you come into a guild so make sure you do that and each of these structures can be actually increased in order to get a higher amount of power so this is where it's important to upgrade um, and you do this as a whole as a guild you do this all together but you start out with a power bonus of about a thousand but each time you upgrade here it says it requires a barracks three rank three um, it, each time you upgrade you actually get a plus into that boon. So it can actually get up to the point where you can have 8,000 power. Pretty sweet. Um, we're trying to get there at this point, and we are a level 12, so we actually are a pretty high level guild. Um, and then we are, we are on our way to creating quite a bit of new material here in the Stronghold. Ooh, also, fun little teaser, the next update that drops, June 20th, will actually have more Stronghold material and alliance material they'll actually be building a great hall so I'm assuming it's gonna pop in right over here but you're gonna be able to go into this door and it has a great hall and the great hall will have tables chairs pretty much your typical medieval look um, <laughs> I can even hear that we can sit around the table which that'll be pretty cool um, not sure if that's just cosmetic <laughs> and social uh, but uh, it, it, if it is it's still kind of fun um, and this other player right here, uh, this NPC, I'm sorry, uh, is oh, the one that's going to give you uh, your quests day. for each of your dungeons uh, and skirmishes day. that you can compete. Yeah, Again, it's going to give you an do. extra bonus um, when you do that. When you complete the skirmish or dungeon, you'll get some stronghold myself. material. Maybe you uh, just a few other things to show you around the stronghold. Um, the Here is your general store person. You can get all your potions, kits, and scrolls in here pretty easy to come here anytime you want and do that. There's a traveling merchant who has some stuff that you can buy for um, uh, with your guild marks, which I'll show you how to get those as well later. But um, right now it's locked because we don't have a level 6 marketplace yet, but we are in the middle of building one. And the artisan this over here is uh, the not the right now. <laughs> when you and your guild okay. started restoring Then back the here, you can decide, interest, based off of your guild, so what, um, what, what shopkeeper you want hand. here. Uh, it's, it's different in every guild. So if you walk into another guild, um, your guild or your alliance's guild, and something different here, don't freak out, don't think it's gone. Um, but at least my guild, we chose to have a salvage tree merchant, um, which has been really helpful so we can salvage all our gear here for astral diamonds. I usually come here because it's the easiest place to come to salvage my astral diamonds. Okay, then over here we have armor. Um, I'm sorry, we have uh, gem enchantments. These are overload enchantments that you can buy to put on your gear. Uh, the combat time for each overload overload um, enchantment is two hours. As soon as you put that on, it basically has a running counter down. So here you can buy these great um, overload uh, enchantments. I encourage you to buy these as soon as you can and have them on at all times, or at least have them in your inventory, because as soon as you pull them off your, your equipment, the combat time countdown ceases. So if you uh, usually most people use these strategically and whenever you're in like real high level content or content that you're finding difficult you'll pop onto these o o these overload um, enchantments to get a little bit extra boost uh, usually this is done in epic dungeons you can help each other out um, by uh, by creating that and again you see that they each have a different um, stat to the overload slot so make sure you read those uh, that's the gem and again you get those by collecting guild marks and then the only other person right now that's of high importance actually well I'm sorry here's another person uh, actually I don't really use her much but she's just food um, thanks Mer for uh, hosting again <laughs> good glad to see you on buddy um, but the uh, food here so you can do that and uh, I really find no use for food but uh, you might. Everybody has their different uh, 
skills, the way they do things. This is the biggest person in Stronghold, so the other benefit of Stronghold is that there is new armor that came with it. Uh, you have to have a Stronghold that has the armor unlocked. Uh, right now, I have that, uh, we have that stuff unlocked, so another plus if you want to join our guild, we'll have all this armor unlocked and ready for you to get. Uh, right now, I don't have guild marks for it, that's why it's showing red, but if you were a part of a guild that does not have this unlocked, it would show down there at the bottom where it says, do not have enough guild marks, it would tell you what particular structure you need to build in your stronghold to get that. Um, so if you're in a newer, um, guild you might have that locked for now but the biggest uh, and this goes back to I want to give suggestions to you guys on what kind of things to target as you're going through because there's a whole lot of gear that's come out and a lot of times you can get very bogged down into well what type of gear do I buy what do I do I invest in buying it on the trade house or do I go spend all my time in Charandara or do I spend it somewhere else um, this is my biggest suggestion to you right now. If you are anything, uh, if you are just a new level 70 or you have armor that's probably lower than, I guess, uh, here it is, item level 140, you want to try to get this Dragonflight armor. Um, this armor is by far one of the best part armor packs to get. It's very easy to get, it just takes time. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get stuff for that. But right now it takes guild marks, which I'll show you how to get your protector seals which are going to be things you win in dungeons in epic dungeons so you have to be item level 2000 in order to play epic dungeons but that's pretty easy to get to and I'll go through another stream on how to boost your item level very efficiently but as soon as you're 2000 you can go into these epic dungeons get protector seals so don't worry about those you'll get those doing the dungeons every day we do plenty of them um, any of us guild members can help you out with that and finally the fang of the dragonflight this is the most important item uh, the fang of the dragonflight is a currency stronghold currency that you're needed to get these each one of these pieces um, and I'll show you how to do that here in a couple minutes um, actually looks like we'll probably head over to that uh, to our alliances candy stronghold here soon but I just want to give you one more glimpse. Oh, and the other good thing is it also has guild uh, equipment. So if you, this is if you don't have enough dragon um, fangs yet to get the dragonflight armor, you can get this equipment. I highly suggest you don't get this equipment just because it's going to end up wasting a lot of your guild marks that you're going to need a ton of in order to get this dragonflight armor. Um, the other two parts... Um, our PvP equipment. I'm not going to really go over those right now. I might do those later. And finally, there's the artifact equipment. These artifacts have become almost obsolete um, with new artifacts that come out with Storm King Thunder um, and the new one, which I'm literally having a brain blank right now. Um, what is it? Ooh, it's been a long day. The Cloaked Ascendancy. So those two will give you your artifact weapons, which will probably be better than your stronghold um, as of now. So your main thing again, you want to focus on getting this. And the reason is, I'll show you an inspection too of it. Um, if you get a set of this stuff, it boosts quite a bit. So if you get two of this Dragonflight, it gives you 2,000 maximum hit points. If you get three of this set, you get 500 plus power those boosts are just really awesome so it's nice to get that set as you can see I have four of them because that's the best gear I have right now um, I'm in the middle of getting some more higher level gear which will go on in another stream but this is probably the easiest gear that you can get so how do you get guild marks good question how do you get guild marks you go over here there's some other benefits boom your mails right here real easy to come into the stronghold and do everything in your mail your personal bank you got your own personal bank here and your guild banker. This is something you'll get with guilds and you'll be able to withdraw from if you get to a particular rank. This is the big one though. So this is the mimic. This is where you're gonna deposit everything. It shows your alliance stuff on the left. You can deposit into any guild in your alliance. So if you can't, if you don't want to deposit into your guild, you can deposit into someone else's guild. Um, 
this doesn't happen too often. I did it a little bit when we got two new guilds underneath us. So we're right now we're a sword, and there's gauntlets underneath the sword, and then you have your helm, which is your top guild in your alliance. Um, so if sometimes if you want to be nice, maybe go and deposit into the gauntlets beneath you. Um, that's entirely up to you. So if you click on any of them, but I'm going to click on ours because I'm going to try to deposit some things. You can deposit certain things. It'll show you what you can deposit, and if it says not possible or at maximum, then you can't do it. It's just the way it is. Um, to increase the maximum of certain things, you have to build other structures. So we would have to build more quarries, quarries or more lumber yards in order to get the maximum amount of wood and stone we can put in um, up. That's not really that important because we have a ton deposited right now. You can see that we've almost nine times as much wood as we need in there right now, which is awesome. Um, my guild does a great job. Shout out to everyone on depositing things. I really appreciate that. Let's see. So what you do is you click on it, and if you click on it, you get to deposit certain things, and each thing has a different topic. So right now, I'm going to deposit a leather, leather worker. If I deposit a leather, leather worker, I gain that amount of guild um, things, and it pops in there. Sorry, the chat box is over it, but you can see I gained that much guild marks by depositing labor, and my labor number went up. So over here, real quick, I'm going to explain to you, because we need to get over to the other guild, um, guild hall to participate in T3s, but over there on the left is the amount that we have. Um, so I have 29, so right now we have 29,000 18 heroic shards of power um, in our in our bank banked over on the right that slash is how much we need for the next upgrade that our guild master Greg decided for us so we need 5,000 um, which is awesome we've completed it and it'll have a big star there and that star shows you that that's kind of what we're focusing on as a guild. So when you're part of a guild and you come in and you want to deposit things, look for that star. Look for that place where you can participate. It's green. It means it's good. We have it ready. Um, if it's not green, it means we still need it, which is what it is down here, frozen treasures. So I'm just going to show you real quick. I was able to get a ton of frozen treasure, so I'm going to deposit that right now into our guild bank. Um, help, help us get out there. Um, a lot of this stuff, uh, you won't be able to do right away because you're actually using the campaign currency to get your boons and to get in further in the campaign. Okay, oops, looks like where you need to head over. Alright, I will do that later in the stream. I'm getting told by one of my guild members, thank you, that I need to get over to do this dragon flight. We have had so many um, so much busyness when it comes to Dragonflight uh, recently. We have a ton of players that are real interested, so you actually have to get into it early, which is shocking, because that has never happened to me before in all my years of playing Neverwinter. So as you can see, um, I did it kind of quick there, sorry, but uh, you go to your uh, strong the strongholds, you can pick, basically pick which um, guild hall you want to go to. So right now uh, it, Candy is is doing the T3, uh, which when I say T3, I mean um, Tier 3 Heroics in the Stronghold. And um, they're going to Dragon Flight here. Okay, so good, I'm here. So as you can see, a ton of people can go anywhere they want to. Um, they're going to... So for a Dragon Flight, um, I'll, sh I'll try to explain as quick as I can. It's really hard. You kind of got to run through it a couple times yourself. But, um... You're going to be assigned a different dragon. If I pull up the map, the dragons are going to be up here in four spaces. Right here. Right here. Up here. And up here. This is the red dragon. This is the black dragon. This is the green dragon. And this is the blue dragon. When you go and you're a part of a, a dragon flight, make sure you look at the bottom left hand of your screen. You're gonna have your alliance or guild members tell you where you need to be at 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 the time. At the time. Um, so right now, I'm gonna go in here and see if I can get part of the group because uh, I need to be assigned to where I'm going. Oh, maybe. Maybe I was a little too late. 
That's alright. I'm going to be walking around anyway, probably. Because I want to show you guys where each of the dragons are. Um, okay. Uh, Winters, is the, where? which dragon are you at right now? Is it full, or do I need to go to another one? Some can go blue. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that then. I'm going to go up to the red. So as you can see down there at the bottom, uh, they'll call out where you need to be. Right now, we're going to red. Um, uh, so yeah, Smurf, I'm running right now with you. I think Winters is in here as well. Uh, I have a few guild members in the, in the, in the stronghold here as well. But, um... So the point is, these dragons drop, and you call them with a bell, and someone will do that for us, and you'll see it pop up in our right screen. Everything will disappear in the stronghold, and the only quest will be to kill all four dragons. The challenge is you have to kill four dragons in ten minutes. You get ten minutes, that's it, to kill the dragons. So it need, you need a lot of people and a lot of um, strategy when you're playing. Um, so here is what happens, usually what happens is when they call out, you need to go here, you need to go to this dragon, it's to get everybody across to the four dragons, because as you can see, the map is huge. I didn't even show you guys the map, I apologize. Um, but here's the map, and uh, if you're up here, uh, I think I might need to go somewhere else. You're only allowed 20 heroes, or champions, at one dragon at a time. If more than 20 happen, um, then the dragon will not even get any attacks. Um, um, it'll go zero. He'll get no damage at all, which sucks. And, and people actually have to pull out and get away from the dragon before they, it starts counting damage again. Um, if that's gonna happen, I'm gonna pull out and probably go to the next dragon, the blue dragon. Um, quick note of um, just a weird statistic, but each dragon kind of has its rank from weakest to strongest. The red dragon is usually the weakest. Most guilds will try to kill that one first. Then you have the green dragon down here. That's going to be your second weakest. Then your third weakest is black. Um, and then your fourth is your blue. Um, this might differ depending on who you talk to because some people really hate different dragons more than others, but <laughs> that's my uh, ranking of the dragons. And um, so I'm going to try to go blue. This, that'll be fun. You're going to see me die a lot. <laughs> but um, so as we start, you'll kind of get more of the experience. I'm trying to talk to you about it, and I understand that visually is kind of the most important thing you need to see. So um, we're waiting for that person to ring the bell, and that will start the countdown. Um, for the dragons to come aboard, and we'll go from there. Uh, anybody got any questions so far? Anybody doing well? Oh, great, Smurf. I'm glad you're not running tonight, but uh, definitely the weekend. Yeah, we do a ton on the weekend, actually, uh, throughout the Alliance. You can actually buy, so kind of a weird thing, the dragon bell that you can ring kind of only pops up at certain times of the day in the calendar, the daily calendar. Um, and th those are kind of free dragon bells. Um, if you want to do other dragon bells, that's something that would be really nice if someone in your guild or your alliance bought them. Oh, okay, Corey, okay, great. I, I'm, I'm, so I'm sorry, I'm trying to get used to, um, I, I know all my guild members by name, um, <laughs> in, in other uh, other ways, but I do not know um, sometimes when they have a uh, have a name on a mixer uh, or beam. I like to call it beam. You know, I don't know why they changed it to mixer. <laughs> um, but uh, awesome, awesome. We are really waiting to start here. Let's see what time we're looking at. Okay, so the free bell kind of enters at 9, which is why we're waiting for it to, uh, wait for another minute.
with all these great people here. Got a few here from my guild, I think. At least they were running. I should take a look at my guild and see what, who's in the stronghold right now. Oh, everybody! That's awesome. Glad you guys are all in the stronghold. Again, gotta get those uh, dragon fangs. Um, I'll show you how to get them at the end of this, but uh, this is definitely the way to get it. invited some people to my, uh, my group so that we could uh, run it together. What's up, Landresh? I actually don't have my... Uh, if those of you that are in my group, feel free to mute me if you want. Um, I will be... I'm kind of so, unless you want the commentary. <laughs> Alright, so there uh, you'll see it pop up there on the right. It says time before the dragons land. It gives you a minute to get set. Usually we all try to set before that. You want to try to get set before the dragons, uh, before the land. Alright, boom. Here they are dropped. So they're coming down. They got 100% health, and that goes down as you hit the dragons. Oh, hey, Pearl Sparks. Nice of you to join us. Um, we, are, um, we are a very active guild that just started, and um, well, well we not just started. We've been we've been around, but we've got quite a few new folks in recently, which has been awesome, and we're part of a real active alliance. Uh, you play Neverwinter? Okay, so uh, for those of you watching, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to the Blue Dragon because um, there was more than 20 uh, people at the Red Dragon which, which negated all the damage. So I wanted to get out of there as quick as possible, give everyone else the opportunity to get the damage. You can see the damage going down right now um, in each of the dragons. I'm heading to the blue ones right now. Just uh, The blue one, which is the hardest. <laughs> the dragons are going to be one of the hardest enemies you're going to face. Um, don't be overwhelmed if you're a new player and you're just jumping into these dragon, dragon things. Um, and probably will get KO'd quite a few times. Don't worry about it. As long as you are attacking the dragon, you can get whatever awards and prizes are given out at the end of the 10 minutes. So as long as you're doing damage, as long as you're contributing, I'm sure you will contribute. Uh, you will get the prizes. Oh, see, so look there, I just got so, um, another thing with dragons, if you get killed, don't worry about having people try to revive you. We kind of figure that's a waste of time. Um, so, it's usually respectable enough to just refresh your character. You'll go right to a, a fire pit next to the dragon. You can head right back in and do more damage. The dragons are one time so you don't worry about getting do as much damage as you can before. So what happens is as you're killing the dragon, oh, I just wanted to show you something and I died. Okay. <laughs> as you kill the dragon, um, there are different times in, um, in the fight when you lower his health enough that these dragon um, these dragon buffs, these dragon buffers kind of appear. And you're going to want to take those out right away. Uh, some of your members probably already will do that. If, if you don't want to, uh, usually if you're not high level or high item level or anything, you can just ignore them, let someone else take care of them. 
So I just took one out right there. Uh, those buff the dragons as as possible. Man, we are... There's not many people at blue right now, so... We're kind of all getting targeted. Which is okay. It's alright. So the other weird thing about dragons in the stronghold, um, which is good to know, is that if you take one dragon down, immediately whatever time's remaining is negated, and you have one minute after that to finish the other three dragons. Um, because of this, it becomes very difficult, because if you have all your, your champions at one, at one dragon and you kill them, you really only have a minute to get to the other dragon. Um, so the skill is to get enough members in your guild and alliance to be at every dragon at one time, uh, which is what's happening in ours. <laughs> really, Carol? That's that's so funny. Um, you probably use the same um, build that I use in MMO Mines um, because I definitely got this from MMO Mines. Great guy, this is build out there. Definitely going for it. Uh, so, because of that, you can see that when we got down to five dragons up there on the right, the infected dose and um, we stopped doing damage because we're kind of waiting for these other dragons to go down at the same time. I am being a little bit of a Oh, how did I survive? Uh, so as you see all this dragon uh, powers pop, let's see if I get those as soon as possible. Oh, thanks, Smurf. Got a little bit loud here. The dragon. Or Cory, I'm sorry. Now I gotta get used to call you Smurf for the first. see with the chat box. Interesting. So, Peril, you only use Hellish Rebuke at will. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely agree. Um, I need to reevaluate my uh, powers here. Um, this is probably a little bit outdated just with the new mod, but um, I kind of haven't changed it just because, you know, yeah. Don't, don't fix when it's broken or something like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on multitasking. Okay. Killing flames, yes. So as you see, we got all the uh, uh, three dragons down to below 5% and it's kind of stopped right now. Um, we're trying to get this last dragon down, um, and the whole point is to get these down to the same percentage and then kill them all at one time. Um, if you're part of a, a newer guild, uh, or not part of a very large alliance, you're probably not going to kill all four dragons. Don't feel bad about it. Uh, this, we're a very developed alliance and guild. We kind of have this down pat now to the point where we can kill all four of them. Ooh, 120. I'm just going to back out. So always, if you see that, more than 20 adventures, you want to back out as soon as possible. Especially because there's always better players than me and you. <laughs> you can do a lot more damage than us. So boom, see we defeated one, and if you see over there up in the top right, uh, it says dragons flee in 50 seconds. So then you have 50 seconds to kill the other dragons, and we're doing that right now. So we're going to be able to kill all four of these. Um, you might be able to only kill one at first. Um, that's okay. Uh, one will still get you some good material. You'll see the stuff that we get pop up here in a second when we're done with the quest. Pop there on the right side, and there you go. Boom. Got all that stuff. Ooh, I got some good stuff today. tonight. Got more than I usually get. Good to show you guys this, then. Oh, uh, 
Peril, I am just doing this as a tutorial. So um, I'm kind of talking out. I'm doing a recording for my guild. This is a guild tutorial. So I'll actually be posting this on YouTube and our guild forum. It kind of gives everybody a, um, a good idea of what to get into. We're having a lot of new members come in and ask us, what's going on? I don't know how to do a dragon flight. And more often than not, um, it's easier to show them then try to explain them to them. So anyway guys, this was what will happen. They'll give you Fangs of Dragonflight. They'll give you one for each dragon you've slain. I got four here this time, um, but those go to get the Dragonflight armor, which are awesome. Um, the Dragonflight is the best armor you're going to get. So... Um, right now as of right now when you're a newer player so make sure you try to come to these dragon flights they happen every night uh, usually if you're part of a guild or alliance they'll tell you when they're happening and it hopefully it can set with your schedule yes and seals you want seals um, don't forget those seals with the epic dungeons you gotta be 2000 item level but that's alright um, you can get there I'll, I'm gonna go through another tutorial soon which will show you how to boost your item level as efficiently as possible while not creating a crap player, I like to say. <laughs> um, and then it gives you a lot of other things. I'll show you a few other things. These vouchers can be turned into the guild uh, guild mimic or guild marks. It also helps us out in building structures. And then the stronghold, strong box of dragon flights, if you want to open these, you buy the keys in the Zen market and it gives you actually two extra dragon flights per box. So it kind of gives you an incentive to buy some more. It's not really necessary, especially if you're part of a guild that does quite a lot of dragon flight runs. Um, but if you're hasty, you got the money to drop it, why not? It is one of the best sets of armor out there that's very easy to get. Um, I'm going to head back to the middle, and we're going to start the T3 Heroics and show you how we run those. So one of the biggest forms of currency in the Stronghold are Influence. You can get 400 a day, and that Influence is done by doing Heroics. It's the easiest way to do it. Most guilds and alliances will run uh, Tier 3 Heroic runs that, that get, get you the stuff really quick. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I was I'm curious as to why there was only one belt tonight for us. We had a we have a big group going and usually someone's always like, "Oh, I have a belt. Let's do it." <laughs> but uh no, no, only one belt tonight. Um sometimes we do like two or three bells. Um tonight nah, nothing. <laughs> but anyway, so you're going to collect influence by doing these heroics and that influence is one of the biggest forms of currencies and stronghold that you need for each uh, for each building that you want. I'm going to go ahead and deposit some more things. You can see kind of what I kind of sped through this because I needed to get to the dragon plate to show you guys it. But heroic shards of power you get through quests in the stronghold. Wood, stone, you get through those vouchers. Um, I'm not able to deposit those right now because we're full. A labor, you can get labor vouchers. Gold, you can deposit your own gold. Glory, if you do PvP stuff, you can do that. Gems, these are your enchantments. You can deposit those. Um, surplus equipment, any of that junk equipment that you don't have any use for, you can turn it in here and it gives you actually guild uh, guild marks for that. Yeah, yeah, they actually, um, they've been doing that consistently. I'm glad to hear that. I've, I've run into a several weekends where they do about five every Sunday, which is awesome. I don't know who buys the bells, <laughs> but I appreciate that, because it's like free, I mean like free stuff, so if you're part of a really busy guild and they can do stuff like this, you're talking five bells, killing four dragons a piece, boom, you already got 20 dragon plate, um, uh, uh, dragon fangs, that's really easy um, to get the, the, that equipment, so I highly suggest trying to do that, and most guilds and alliances do that. <laughs> yeah, there's an achievement in this game to kill a thousand dragons. Yep, Peril, I am not anywhere near, but right now, um, yeah, I I could definitely kill some 
dragons, some more dragons. But anyway, and you can do astral diamonds here. Let me just finish this up before we do these. And then these are your campaign currencies, so you can deposit those as well. Um, after, don't, I would highly suggest if you're a new player to not um, deposit your campaign currencies in here yet because you really need your campaign currencies for other things. Um, I am only depositing those things, I only deposit campaign currencies in there because I finished the campaign already. So I can actually um, kind of help the guild out just a little bit more. Okay, so what happens in T3s? Is everybody c collects here at the top and I'm late to the party. And you head down to where they call it out. So you can see that Arsenius from Candy just called out no sympathy. That's the first T3 heroic. And if you look on your map, I'll give you a great way to f um, look for it. It's the real golden tier three. Get it? Three swords. I think they're swords. Candlesticks. They look, kind of look like candlesticks. <laughs> um, but that the, it pops up, and you kill everything there, and then you move on to the next one that pops up. I'm going to head over there now. Direction thing, because it's easier. Probably not going the quickest way. <laughs> Night Peril. Uh, thanks for uh, joining the stream. I'll be doing more streams. Uh, feel free to follow, and uh, if you're interested in a, a guild... Um, or an alliance, please, uh, please let me know. I think I'm, I really am taking the long way here. <laughs> I might not make it in time. Usually you have to pay attention because the whole group kind of moves together, and if you don't move together, you can be left behind, and a lot of these heroics go really quick. I'm gonna miss this. Okay, well, now I can join. Um. <laughs> okay, awesome. Awesome, Peril. Yeah, I figured since you were uh, kind of the same level I am, almost the exact same. It's kind of ironic. Get all, my, all the gear and everything. Yeah, uh, we tend to melt our T3 quite a bit, and it's not really fun. Uh, I suggest. That's why I suggested the last stream for all the new players. Make sure you buy a mount, a fast mount, as soon as. Um, make sure you buy a mount as soon as you can if you're a new player, because you really need to be able to keep up with things. So, anyways, right there they called it Beholders. You go to the next T3, and you can always check your map when you get to know kind of the uh, scheme of things. There's only about three or four of them. Uh, of the heroic encounters, the T3, so you'll kind of start to memorize them and you'll be able to do them quicker without looking at the map. Yeah, Peril, we have some beast DPS in our uh, in our alliance. Um, it gets pretty scary sometimes. Um, I tend to miss things more often than not these days just because we have such high DPS uh, people. Um, and like I mentioned, the Dragonflight actually have become full. I don't, which we're all talking about how to make it better so we can kind of do some different dragon plates for different people because right now we're maxing out our stronghold instance and then people are being left behind which is kind of disappointing uh, usually we wait uh, before we start a T3 if you're part of a guild or alliance they'll wait um, and do it together oh. Eva could just pull them in we gotta wait. We gotta wait, guys. As you can tell, no one's attacking. <laughs> oh. Okay, now we're back. Right, right. Um, yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about. We just need to keep the fallen here and get the. Uh, uh, be able to guide uh, the rest of the people to go to the other instance. Which right now we don't have. We're kind of in the middle. So what you do when you get a heroic encounter, I'm sure you're all used to this right now, but you collect it here. Gives you the influence, gives you heroic shards of power, and even gives you some extra little goodies to use. Then we're on to the next one. So what you do when you come to these T3s is you kind of just run through each one until you get 400 influence. As soon as you get 400 influence, it's kind of pointless to um, 
continue with the heroics unless you're helping somebody out. But, um, we have plenty of people here in the stronghold, so I'm just gonna run through these heroics uh, as, as much as I can before I get 400 influence and give you guys some parting uh, information. And the stream will end because we are almost at an hour. Time goes by super fast. I felt like I sped through so much of the tutorial. I apologize if it's too much for you guys. There has been so much detail provided into Neverwinter um, that it can become overwhelming, which is why these tutorials are here. So if you ha need further information, feel free to just message me uh, or let me or ask me a question because uh, I want to be able to be there just in case you have further questions and I didn't do a good job on clarifying some things. Thanks, thanks, Peril. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm. I really, I really enjoyed this game. <laughs> I hope everybody can tell. Um, but uh, wow, your 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 guild and alliance is real busy. Then you do five five eight heroics a day. Oh, you're saying five. Oh, I'm sorry. You're giving. Oh, good information. So you do about five heroics. If you get into five heroics, you get your 400 influence. Um, but yeah. Uh, this ha this happens all throughout the day. We have a bunch of uh, EU uh, EU players as well. So if you're EU, don't worry about it. We have someone running it at opposite times. The key is this influence is super helpful. It'll get you your good stronghold boons as well as unlock your um, your different structures to unlock that dragonflight armor for you to buy. That's super nice, Carol. That's awesome. I, we are, I think, currently trying to get up 13. We to level, to level up 13. Uh, we were pretty active back in the day. Uh, actually, I don't know if you know Rise, Rise from the Ashes, but we used to be Rise from the Ashes. And then um, we just kind of, some of us left, and then now we're back to get new players really just enjoying helping out new players. We have a ton of people um, that are just not even level 70 yet, which is great. We have to run some new stuff with them and get them up to the campaign level. We both know that all that endgame content just sort of opens up the entire world. Yeah, same here. I, I need to learn everything. That I'm, always, um, I'm always asking for help, and honestly, I think I've had players uh, <laughs> give me little tidbits on how, how to work it. Again, you just hit select, go over to your heroic or keep hitting select until you get that claim button, and claim your heroic encounter. Ooh, nice. Campaigns. Probably just end up selling. Yeah, the Neverwinter community is amazing. This is one of the only MMO games that I've ever uh, really stuck with to the point where um, group grouping up is just so easy on here. I mean, it's 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 great. Uh, I, I always have problems grouping up in my other MMO games. Um, I'm either not a high enough level to be playing with people and nobody wants to give a crap about me or I am too high a level and all the content becomes super boring. That has not happened here at all um, till this day and again I have been playing since the game began you know, two years ago. So that's been awesome. <laughs> so you are, you're literally uh, the same as me, a <laughs> scourge world like a two, uh, 2.8 item level, okay, that's, that's funny. Yeah, I, I agree, I am, I'm totally with you in that, actually. Um, I'm, I've been surprised that, uh, and this goes to all you who are listening as well, I stressed this last time, but you can be a high item level and you cannot build your character well. Um, 
if you and you can get a lot of strength and a power or healing or tankage whatever whichever character you are but you can get a lot of that from things that don't even have anything to do with item level uh, so don't forget that um, it's easy for new players to get very get this sucked into this mentality where they need to get this highest the highest numbered item and it's it's not true it really isn't yeah you need to build you need to build your character MMO mines is a great um, is a great uh, place to find a build at least a, a, a shell of a build that you can start at again everybody has their way they play if you play a little bit differently it might help you um, but definitely the in the builds and the end games you want to do that um, I'm gonna go through a tutorial on that because someone actually came to me from the build and said that I needed to go over that the whole item level and what's important what's not important um, because a lot of times it is it's hard um, I mean I'm even noticing that I'm starting a cleric character and it's just so tempting to get sucked into just putting that highest item in my character to get the item level up and I'm finding that half the time the items I'm putting in my character aren't really helping me too much We're getting to the end of my stream, guys, um, at, at an hour. Uh, feel free, if you loved it, you watched it, follow me because I will be doing more um, streaming this week. Uh, there, there are plenty of more tutorials to come. Also, you can have fun as well. Um, some of the stuff in these tutorials might not apply to you, um, but if you come aboard and uh, help like Carol did, thank you for helping. Uh, he gives just just as much valuable information in the chat box. So you can kind of chat amongst each other and get good info from more senior players. We're all just one big community. I, I, I love Neverwinter. I, um, when I do another tutorial in another area, just by asking in chat, you can get um, unknown players joining your party and in any type of dungeon or skirmish you want. There we go. Yeah, people always are uh, always able to help. I mean, you, all you have to do is um, it's great. And, it, and it's also real fun. Um, just another plug, guys. Uh, the next mod will drop on the June 20th, or half mod. I, I don't know what they're calling it these days. But, um, and it's really fun because it, as all, uh, all the players kind of go to the new zones and they kind of explore it together, and that's when you're going to get a lot of your help. You, a lot of joining up with each other and kind of just exploring that new content. And the new content is always fairly interesting. Um, it's never boring, which is awesome. No sympathy again. Why are we, why are we getting lucky? No sympathy is dropping every other heroic, it seems like. <laughs> That's how it was yesterday. Dropped off my mouth for some weird reason, too. As you can tell, I've put no movement into my character. I've shoved it all into DPS, so I am the slowest roller through anything. But I make up for it in my power. I wasn't counting how many heroics I was doing. Let's see how much I'm playing today. I'll, I'll look for it after I finish this because it happens quickly. So those are the big things in Stronghold to look out for. Um, just to summarize for you guys real quick. Uh, we went over T3 heroics. 
Um, there's T2 and T1 heroics, which you can do with less amount of people. So don't worry if you don't have enough people to start out. If you want to, just get with some other, a few other people and run through T1 or T2 heroics. They give influence as well, just not as much and not efficiently. Um, the best gear is obviously in the tier three. Um, another thing to summarize, so you want to get your Dragonflight armor, so you can get uh, Dragonflight armor by playing the drag the Dragonflight. It happens a couple times during the day in the daily calendar. You can take a look, it'll actually mention it. And other times, uh, there's also a way to buy Dragon Belts, so sometimes you're aligned to you do that. Um, make sure you collect the Dragon Fangs for that, as well as your Protector Seals in your Epic Dungeons and your Guilt Marks by Guild notes really important. Getting your structure up is super important. Um, your guild master will know which structure to go for. Make sure you um, follow that instruction, and um, and, you, and the quicker you get your structures up, the more things open up in your stronghold. Um, again, currently it's you can max your guild stronghold up to level 20. And uh, you'll get a whole lot of stuff in between 1 and 20 that unlock. Um, one of the biggest things are the boon structures. Boon structures are huge because they give you that extra power, defense, or other item that depends on what your guild decides. Um, you want to try to be in a guild that is sort of one-minded in what type of boon they want. Um, for instance, my boons is power and defense, which is awesome because I'm a high DPS person, so I need that. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the guild stronghold. Um, I didn't really show you any of the dailies to do because uh, I kind of showed you how to get those quests, but they're pretty straightforward. You follow the quests and um, you get, get the fun shards of power and heroic shards of power and dungeoneering shards of power and and all that good junk. And uh, all those shards of power can be turned in for guild marks and help your guild out. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for the night. Um, I'm going to take a break tomorrow, but I will be back Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with uh, just look at my Mixer profile. It will update you on what, uh, what I will be going through. But feel free to stop in, stop by, have some fun. Sit down and chat as uh, as we go through Neverwinter, and I look forward to seeing you guys later on this week. Have a good evening.